On a typical October day, these balconies would be filled with leaf peepers enjoying their incredible view. But this year is different. The Pisgah Inn is quiet. Staff getting the building ready for the long winter ahead. Before Helene hit the mountains, Pisgah Inn owner and operator Bruce O'Connell was simply preparing for another storm. We uh, battened down all the hatches, just held on for, the, for what was coming. The inn had minimal damage, but that wasn't the problem. No power is a big problem and no roads is the biggest problem. The Pisca Inn is a staple along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Guests stay overnight or eat dinner at the restaurant with breathtaking views. But without a way to get there, Bruce made the unprecedented decision to shut down. We have lost the last week of October. We've never lost the entire month of October. A spokesperson with the National Park Service put the damage to the parkway into perspective. We are tracking about three dozen rock and mud slides which have covered the road. Uh, nine of those slides have severely damaged the roadbed. You've got mountain on one side, valley on the other. You simply can't drive around where the, where, where the damage occurs. He also recognized the loss of one of Asheville's favorite fall pastimes. We are keenly aware of how important the parkway is to, to this entire area, not just as an economic driver, but a place of, of respite to get away, especially during these, these challenging times. The economic impact of Helene in western North Carolina is difficult to estimate, but some experts have already guessed at a loss reaching into the billions of dollars. My employees are suffering. All the hospitality and restaurant employees in this area, I can't imagine how they're feeling. The rest of the staff at the inn now left to winterize the buildings and get a head start on renovations and projects. Bruce is hopeful that the Blue Ridge Parkway will be back open and fully functioning by their opening date, April 1st, 2025. At the Pisgah Inn, Gracie Matisse, News 13.